Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 3, Lesson 13. This time we're going to be using all of our operations, multiplication, addition, and subtraction, to solve multiple part word problems. And today I am going to do one and only one problem. I picked one of the more difficult ones here, but I'm going to do number three with you. So, in my class we use a read, draw, and write strategy. So let's go ahead and read first, and then we'll get on to our drawings. Let's see. All 3,000 seats in the theater, all 3,000 seats in the theater are being replaced. So far, five sections of 136 seats and a sixth section containing 348 seats have been replaced. How many more seats do they still need to replace? Oh boy, this is going to be a difficult one. So let's see, what do we know so far? Well, let's see, five sections of 136 seats have been replaced. So that would be uh, something like 136, and then five sections of those. So let me draw those all out, 136, 136, and 136. So five sections of 136 seats. Oh, also, and a sixth section containing 348 seats, so 348 those have been replaced. Let's see. There's 3,000 seats in all, and then we are interested in what is left. Let's see. How would we say that 3,000 seats overall? Okay, I think that's the whole. So I would say that all of the seats, including the five sections, that sixth section, and the remaining ones, all of those together are going to add up to be 3,000 seats. I think that fits everything that we need, and I think that means we've done our draw part. So the last part we need to do is do the actual calculation so that we can get to our writing. So let's see. The 348 seats is really pretty straightforward, right? That's just this. But 136 times 5, we're going to actually need to do that calculation. So let, I'm going to do that over here on the right-hand side. So we have 136 seats times 5. That's those five sections. Let's go ahead and do that multiplication. So 5 times 6 1s is 30 1s. So the 0 goes in the 1s column and the 3 10s go up here. 5 times 3 10s is, uh, is 15 10s plus 3 more is 18 10s. So again, we move the 1 up there after leaving the 8 alone. And then 5 times 1 100 plus the extra 100 we have is 6. So that's 680 seats. So actually here, let me just go ahead and draw this. So this is 680 seats. So now I think I understand our problem. 680 seats have been replaced, plus 348 seats have been replaced. That leaves all the remaining seats right here, and that those all come to a total of 3,000. So I think we need to do, I think we need to add in this, add the 680 seats from the 348 seats. That'll tell us how many seats have been replaced so far, right? Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to do that sort of here in the middle. So 680 seats plus 348 seats will tell us how many have been replaced so far. So 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So that's 2 here and 1 up here. And then 1 plus 6 plus 3 is 10. So we have 1,028 seats. So that's the number of seats that have been replaced so far. So this number, 1,028, plus our mystery number is going to equal 3,000. So now we have kind of a part-part-whole problem, so I think that's a subtraction problem. That is to say, if we started with 3,000 seats, and we have since replaced 1,028 of them, that a subtraction problem will tell us what the remaining part is, which is this part, which is what we're looking for. So let's do the subtraction. Sadly, this is a difficult bit of subtraction, right? So when we look at the 1s, we see we don't have enough 1s. And if we look to unbundle 10s, we don't have any 10s. If we look to unbundle 100s, there are no 100s to unbundle. So we have to go all the way over to the 1000s. We unbundle one of the 1000s, leaving two of them, to make 10 100s. And then since we need, we need some 10s, we're going to unbundle one of those and create 10 10s. And we have to unbundle one of those to create 10 1s. And now, I think, let's, let's just check, I think we have enough in every column. So we need to subtract 8 1s from 10, we can do that. We need to subtract 2 10s from 9, we can do that. We need to subtract 0 from 9, we can do that. And then 1 from 2, all good. So let's go ahead and do that subtraction. That's 2 1s, 7 10s, 9 hundreds, and 1,000. Are we done? 
We are not done because we have to do with the right portion of our strategy. And the right portion of our strategy is to say that there are 1,972 seats still to be replaced. And does that make sense? Let's see. If we had this many to be replaced, we did this many before, that's about 2,400 seats. And we did this many before that, and that's another 600, so that's about 3,000. And that strikes me as a reasonable answer. We could recheck our work by doing the inverse operations of subtraction, the inverse operation of addition, and later on we could do a little bit of inverse operation here, but for now we could have double-checked this by doing maybe repeated addition, 136 plus... Uh, 136 plus itself, five times. But I believe we've got our correct answer. That's 1,972 seats still to be replaced. So, that's a difficult problem. Many steps involved. Definitely have to get a good drawing up there first in order to figure out what's going on, and then go ahead and follow through with the right operations and then doing them cleanly. But this has been another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.